Problem 3 reads, in the circuit below, find I1, I2, and I3. I1 is the current through the battery. It splits at this point into two branches. I2 flows down through the 6 ohm resistor. I3 flows through the 1, the 10, and the 7 ohm resistors. Try to solve that problem now before watching its solution. Here is a diagram of our circuit. The problem is to find I1, I2, and I3. I have added the points A and B for reference. Let's first find I1 by finding the equivalent resistance of the circuit. We have three resistors here that are in series. If we add those three resistors up, we have 1 ohm, 7 ohm, and 10 ohms. It gives us a total resistance of 18 ohms. Let's cut those resistors out and replace them with one resistor. And this one resistor then is to be 18 ohms. The current I3 then flows through that one resistor. Okay, we notice at this point that if we knew the potential difference between this point and this point, in other words, between points A and B, we would be able to use Ohm's law to find both I2 and I3. We will come back to that later, but let's go on now with finding the equivalent resistance of our circuit. Now we take a look at these two resistors that are in parallel, the 6 ohm and the 18 ohm resistor. Let's cut them out of our circuit, put them here, and calculate what the equivalent resistance is of these two in parallel. 1 over the equivalent parallel resistance would be 1 over 6 plus 1 over 18. If you add those reciprocals and then take the reciprocal of the result, you can confirm that this turns out to be 4.5 ohms. All right. Let's take that resistor, patch it into here, and say that it has a value of 4.5 ohms. Now we have three resistors in series, 8 ohms, 4 and a half, and 2, which, if we add them up, give us a total of 14.5 ohms, and that is the equivalent resistance of the circuit. So that the value for I1 can be found from Ohm's law by taking the 20 volts EMF of the battery and dividing by the equivalent resistance, which is 14.5 ohms. And if you do that, you get a value of 1.38 amperes. All right, so we have I1. The next thing I want to do is to find the voltage drop between A and B. And that can be found now, again, using Ohm's law. I can f write that the voltage drop from A to B is simply equal to the current, 1.38 amps, multiplied by the resistance from point A to B, which is 4.5 ohms. If you carry out this multiplication, you should find that this is 6.21 volts. All right, now let's go back and put our circuit together again. Let's remove the 4.5 ohm resistor, go back and pick up what it came from, this parallel branch, and we will patch that back into our circuit right here. All right, now we know that the voltage drop from A to B is 6.21 volts. 6.21 volts 
over our 6 ohm resistor and also across our 18 ohm resistor. Let's find I2. I2 would simply be equal to the voltage across the resistance 6 ohms which is 6.21 volts divided by the 6 ohm resistance. And this comes out to be the three significant figures 1.04 amperes. That's the value for I2. The value for I3, we do exactly the same thing with our 18 ohm resistor. This is 6.21 volts divided by 18 ohms. And this, to three significant figures, is 0.345 amps. So that's I3. A good check in our answers would be to add up I2 and I3 to see if we get the value for I1. And I think if you do that, you will find that the three significant figures, this does come out to be 1.38 amps. So they are our three currents. We have solved our problem. Let's move on then to our next problem.